So it's that time of year again, Cape Town time, and I'm about to pack my bags. And it's around this time of year, and a few months before, where I get a lot of messages, emails, phone calls. Ben, what do I take? What gear do I take? It is a difficult thing to do. Now, what I'm going to show you today is how to pack one bag. We're going Jimmy one bag. Now, in an ideal world, you take all of the toys all of the time. That means two boards, that means a lot of range of sails because Cape Town can be anything from light winds to strong winds. But with the way the airlines are at the moment, if you're only going for a week, I would suggest look at the forecast. But I'm gonna show you what I would pack if I was taking one bag. Now, things to remember, I am 80 kilos. Yes, I know I don't look it, but uh, 80 kilos. I would say I'm quite efficient, you know, I don't want to boast too much, but I'm quite efficient sailor, so I get going light wind. So I'm going to take three sails. I'm taking a 4.7 as my biggest. I'm taking a 4.5 and a 4.0. So three sails. Now that might sound strange, but the thing is, if you're in Cape Town, you're sailing waves, and you, let's say, you break a sail, you go through the window. If you've taken a 5.0, a 4.5 and a 4.0, and you break your 4.5, you're left with a 5.0 and a 4.0 and you can't get around it. If you've got a 4.7 and a, and a 4.5, they're probably my most used sails in Cape Town, especially for those kind of morning and lighter wind days. So that's what I kind of take. If I damage the 4.5, I've still got a 4.7. If I damage the 4.7, I get away with a 4.5. It's a weird way of thinking, but that's the way my brain works. So we've got three sails. I'm going with one board. Don't worry, I'm not gonna be taking her. She's, she's too heavy to fit in, nine kilos now. But the board, I am gonna be taking. Now I'm taking uh, the Simmer Fly Wave, 78 liters. Now I can wobble and ride on that board, just about, just about. So if there's no wind at all, I'm gonna sink a little bit. But usually wobble and ride in Cape Town, you still have a little bit of power, will a little bit of power, I can get going. Now. A few of you out there, what's up with you? Okay, we're gonna put, the, we're gonna put them rocks in as well. Um, so I would say, for me, that's the perfect board because I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably miss out on some of the really light wind sessions, but Cape Town is definitely known for its stronger winds and I wanna maximize that, so the 78 for me is perfect. A few of you guys out there might wanna go bigger on the board. Like I said, I'm 80 kilos, 78, so it's about my sort of volume. So 78, I've got a 3-2 long arm wetsuit. Now for surfing, that is a little bit too thin, but we wind surfing. Most of the time we're gonna spend out of the water. It's sunny, uh, the water is cold in Cape Town, but we wind surfing, it's sunny, it's warm. 3-2 long arm, perfect. I'm taking an impact jacket, just in case I go a bit crazy, and you'll see why I'm also taking that, because that helps with the packing. Uh, one boom, 140. Uh, to 210, that's super boom. I'm taking a 340 mast and a 370 mast. Obviously extension and mast base. Now this is really important. I see a lot of people, you know, with a freaking 10 year old mast base and it's like rickety, it's all random. Why? This is the one thing that keeps your gear together. If you're going on a trip like this to somewhere like Cape Town, make sure you get a new base or at least you replace the tendon. At least check it. Make sure it's a good one. Uh, and also this base, this is a very useful thing, especially when you float and ride, you want your foot pushing against the base. This bit of foam, I don't know how much they cost these days, but it's a very useful thing. And then my board bag. Now I get a lot of questions about this. This is just a single board bag. Yes, it's not got the most padding, but, it's super light and it does the job. Now, can your equipment get damaged? Yeah, but in my experience, if it's gonna get damaged, no matter how you've packed it, they will damage it. The little knocks and, 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 uh, and things, I never seem to have a problem. So, and it's a big one. So it's a 240 long, but it's 75 wide. So it's like a free ride bag. And now we're gonna come on to how I pack the bag, which might be interesting to some of you. I'm not saying you should all do what I do, but this is how I travel to get under 32 kilos with this much stuff. So firstly, I put the sails in. Now this is not entirely true because I have got some sails turning up in Cape Town, so I am a bit spoiled. But what we do is, we put the sails in the bottom. 
So we chuck them in there like this. Okay, next up, we're not gonna put those rocks in there, are we? No, hopefully not. Uh, next up, extension and base. Now me personally, I stick these together. I open one of the sail bags and I actually put it inside the sail like that. Zip it back up. Usually I haven't got my fins with me at the moment. Sometimes I wrap the fins up and I put them in a sail as well. A lot of people actually put their mass inside the sail, adds protection to the mass. And if they're smashing them around, you know, these are carbon. If they get a hard chink on them, that's when your mass can snap. And you do see that. So putting them inside the sail can work. I've still got my mass bags on. So I'm gonna just put them on the bottom like this. Hey babe. But I can suggest putting them inside the sail. It might be the safer option to do. So there we've got the base. Then on top of those sails, I chuck the board. So the board will slide on top of there. Those sails then protect the bottom of the board. If the top of the board gets damaged in transit, I can do a kind of makeshift repair when I'm there and I can get on water the first day. The bottom is always a bit of a pain in the, in the, in the ass. Uh, right, now I've got a boom. Always put your boom round away because you can see it sticks out. Put it on the side, it's a lot smoother, but that's still what you're gonna do. We've got, the impact vest and a wetsuit to pad it up. Okay, so what we do is we put the end of the boom in the impact vest and this can then sit on the board without damaging the board. So, there we go. Obviously this is sitting on the, the cushion here but we're also gonna make doubly sure of this because we've also got the harness. The harness can go around the back of the board here this definitely helps because that is the one thing you definitely don't want to damage is the back of the board. It can be a real nightmare to get repaired really well. Obviously take the hook off, we'll stick that in one of the sails in a minute and we've also got the wetsuit. So we make use of this by wrapping it around. Obviously you can do a better job than this. Some people, you know, you might use a bit of tape but I would also suggest we put that under here. You know, a little bit of kitchen cling wrap around the top would do well the good as well. So we put that around the bottom and then we shove that in there. So you can see it's not on the bottom. So when it gets dropped, there's a lot more padding there. So I said to you put this in one of these sails. Probably should push it right in to make it properly. And that is, pretty much how I would take, well, let's zip it up first. <laughs> Got to squeeze it down a little bit. <laughs> Obviously push the sails right to the front because that's gonna create some extra space as well in this whole thing. It's not, the, it's not the same if you're not struggling to get the zip shut, but be careful. You definitely don't wanna break a zip. If you wanna put some straps around it, it also makes sense. But also, once you put the zip on, don't forget, slide it all the way to the top and you can tie that zip together. So there you go. That is a Jimmy One bag. Now, how heavy is that bag? It should be 32 kilos. I'll go get my scales and I'll show you. Come on, you. Gonna Are you going to check it? Well, this is nine kilos. Ah, well, we need to go get the scales. Okay, so, how heavy is the bag? Well, me personally, I'm 80.5, so I'm pretty much 80 kilos. Let's, uh, how heavy do we think this is? This is 110 kilos. 
So we do some quick maths, 30 kilo bag. There we go, and that is how you pack a bag for Cape Town. Jimmy one bag, we got one board, three sails, boom, two masts, harness, wetsuit extension. We are ready to go. See you in Cape Town.